Greetings YouTube, welcome to another hardware video. So this just arrived in the post today and I'm going to be checking it out in this video. This item is the Netgear Nighthawk X6S Tri-Band Wi-Fi Extender. Now this item, or this model rather, is about 18 months old so uh, it's a little bit cheaper than it once was but still a bit pricey. This is really made for those of us that have specific network concerns, network issues and hopefully this is going to correct some of the issues that we've been having in, ha in our house and I'll go through our current network setup for you and then to speak a little bit about why it is I chose to pick this item up and hopefully if Netgear's claims are accurate and if the other reviews I've been reading are accurate then this should really just help out with some of those problems and as I said I don't think this will be for everybody you will need probably specific issues to really warrant this kind of purchase uh, but if that's you I will leave a link to this item in the link uh, in the description of this video so you can go and check it out if you want to now often if you're going to think of a, a Wi-Fi range extender you'll think of those small boxes that have a couple of antenna on the sides of them that literally you just plug straight in to the wall and then connect to your router and that's pretty much what this is but what's the main difference well there's a couple of differences first of all this is a tri-band uh, extender now most of those other extenders that you see are going to be dual band now the main difference between dual band and tri-band isn't always important especially if it comes to say a router for example or some other network devices but it is a lot more important when it comes to extending devices such as this one and the reason for that is on a typical Wi-Fi extender, a dual band one, say an N600 speed for example, uh, you're only ever going to be able to see half of that speed at most for your devices that attach to it. And the reason for that is because it's dual band, it has to use the same Wi-Fi bands for connecting to your main uh, Wi-Fi hub, whether that's your router or some other device. It uses that same band to do that as well as then uh, connecting to your various Wi-Fi devices such as your phone or your computer which means that it has to allocate half of the maximum speed to just connecting to the main Wi-Fi device in your area and then it only leaves half for those various other devices. Now TriBand avoids that problem because it actually has a dedicated 5 gigahertz band solely used for connecting to your router so that then it leaves the other two bands, the 2.4 gigahertz band and the other 5 gigahertz band open solely for use by your various connecting devices. So the tri-band gives you full speed for that particular uh, usage. Now it's still a little bit deceptive so this whole, I mean all the manufacturers do this, this whole AC3000 uh, which is supposed to be the speed of this thing is really split up over those three bands so you're not going to, unless you have some device that connects to multiple bands at the same time, you're not going to be seeing you know, anywhere near this uh, amount of speed for any particular device that you connect this to. So if you connect it to the 2.4 gigahertz uh, band you're going to see at a maximum 400 Mbps and that's obviously in a perfect world situation as well and if you connect to the uh, to the 5 gigahertz band you'll see uh, 866 mbps and then the third band as I say is for connecting to the router right then folks let's get into this thing so hopefully you can see this okay looks like we open it from the side Netgear resource CD does anybody use these anymore Okay, there it is, the Netgear Nighthawk XS, uh, whatever it was called, the range extender anyway, tri-band. So I'll just show you the item all around. I don't know if you guys can see that, you should be able to. You've got the ports on the back, you've got your four USB, not USB, sorry, network ports. Uh, you've got your USB 2.0 port, I think that is. And then of course you've got your power port and you've got your WPS button here. So setup for this is supposed to be dead simple, just a case of plugging it in. You're going to want to plug it in quite close to your router for initial setup and then just go through standard button presses on WPS for both this and your router uh, in order to get quick connection then and you can move this into the place that you're going to want to set it up in. And as you can see, this is where the router, the main router is. Uh, it's actually a modem router, so uh, BT Infinity goes straight into this and then this is going to distribute internet throughout the house. We've got a network lead traversing, you can probably just see it there around the door frame, all the way through here because on this side of the house we simply do not get any Wi-Fi coverage at all 
and we've got it going all the way over here past the piano and if we look behind the telly you can see this old TP link uh, I think it's an old router actually I've got it set up as an access point and that is connected via that long long network cable uh, to the main router in the entrance hall and then this distributes uh, you can see various wired networks such as to the television and the consoles and then has fairly decent Wi-Fi on it for this side of the house the problem is as we start to go upstairs and stuff we tend to lose that and the other problem as well that this I forgot to mention but this item should fix this net gear is that the uh, route I've got set up out there and the access points I've got set up in here are on different Wi-Fi networks you have to keep reconnecting between them in order to get the best signal on your phones and other devices but with this Netgear range extender if I set it up as a range extender then we should actually be able to keep the same network throughout the entire house not just the same network name you can do that on many devices you still have to change networks but the actual same network so I'm looking forward to seeing how that works right so I have gone ahead and got the Netgear range extender in place. I haven't plugged it in yet. I'll move it into a better location as well once it's all working. I did set it up on the router uh, when it was next to it, which as expected was a very, very simple process. Just a case of hitting the WPS button on both devices and then waiting a couple of minutes for everything to connect. And the good thing was both the 2.4 and 5 gigahertz networks both connected, which I wasn't expecting. Uh, right now, I don't know if you can see that, I'm really struggling to get a signal. The old beer house 5G, which is what I want to connect to, keeps coming and disappearing, as you can see there. It's just not working very well at all. So hopefully with this thing turned on in a moment's time and set up, I'll be able to get a much better connection here. Right, so it's gone ahead and connected here. And you see that little uh, grey uh, LED on the very left with the Wi-Fi signal? Uh, but if we was getting slightly weaker signal, that would be amber. And if it was a very poor signal, it would be red. So the fact that that is white is actually something I really wasn't expecting at all. In fact, I don't think I've ever, ever had uh, Wi-Fi reach this part of the house like that uh, in the past. So I'm very, very impressed. I've got to say this thing truly is a beast. As of right now, then, I have been using the X6S for a little bit of time. So I've tried to get some good use out of it to share some thoughts with you. Now... Maybe I'm just a little bit behind in terms of networking technology. It has been a while since I last upgraded any of the networking equipment. But I am super, super impressed with just how far technology, especially this wireless technology, has come over the last few years. You know, previously wireless technology is something you just wanted to avoid like the plague and just go wired, you know, as much as you could. But now with the advent, of course of uh, just so much of our internet usage being done on wireless devices such as phones and tablets kind of made sense that the tech that drives those had to be improved and I think it really has been yeah I mentioned a few minutes ago in the video that this thing looks like a beast well it certainly behaves like one as well now on our wireless devices with this thing set up we just have the uh, one wireless network throughout the whole of the house and basically just top signal bars all throughout the property every room we go into downstairs or upstairs and the good thing about these is is that if you're in say an office building or some other commercial building or maybe you just have a very very big house uh, you can actually get multiple of these if you can afford it if you're rich enough i wouldn't be so i'm glad one was enough uh, but if you are if you can afford it you can get multiple of these devices of these range extenders and you can just set that one network up then and have these range extenders situated so that throughout the entirety of the property uh, you can make sure that you have decent signal across all your devices. But even outside of the building, even outside of the house, and our house has very, very thick walls, super thick walls, much thicker than what you would normally get in a house. Uh, and to even dream about having any Wi-Fi access outside in the garden or or in any other parts outside the building. It just wasn't something that we thought was possible. We certainly never had it before. Uh, but if we come outside of the house now, we do actually get uh, between one and two signals of Wi-Fi, which is helpful, especially if you're spending a lot of time doing the gardening or whatnot, not having to use up the 4G data network. So overall then, would I recommend the Netgear Nighthawk X6S? 
Uh, yes, I would. It's a fantastic product from what I've experienced so far. So if you're struggling right now with perhaps a cheaper range extender, it's just not giving you a very good wireless signal or it's not connecting to your router very well, then by all means, you know, this is probably the type of thing that is going to help you out big time. And the fact that it's tri-band, which means you can connect multiple devices to this and it's not going to have limited the bandwidth by connecting to your router because that's on a dedicated band is fantastic. And the fact that you can just connect multiple of these around the place if you need them or even just with the one as I've got and not have to keep switching networks as you move around with your phone or whatever the case may be is also a bit of a bonus as well. And just to clarify with that, uh, because on some other range extenders you can change the network ID, the SSID, to have the same name as your main wireless network, but don't be fooled because that hasn't created the same network all it's done is created a different network with the same name. So as you move closer to the extender, you're still going to have to change networks because your phone or device is probably not going to do that in any kind of clever fashion. So with this, the network itself will force your device to automatically connect to the strongest piece of network hardware, whether this, your router, or whatever the case may be. But honestly, guys, my house is such a dead spot in terms of wireless coverage. The walls are so thick, etc that this thing has just solved all those problems as far as I can tell. And I'm pretty sure if he can do that for me, it's probably gonna be able to do that for a lot of you. So yes, it's hard, I guess, always to justify the initial expenditure, but if you are struggling with your wireless devices, then it might be something worth looking at. But as always, folks, appreciate your thoughts as well. Is this an item you're familiar with? Is this a product you've used yourself? If so, please do share your experiences of it in the comment section below. Let us know what you think. And also, if you're thinking about checking this one out, please do use the link I've posted in the description. That will take you to the Amazon product page. And if you did go ahead and purchase that, it would support the channel. But I think that's pretty much everything I wanted to cover today. So thanks so much for stopping by. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to be kept notified of any future hardware-related videos that I upload. I'll see you next time.